Signing up for RSmart is easy. From the gateway, just choose the Sign Up button at the upper left. That takes you to a short form that will get you started. Your first step is to pick a username that's memorable, but that you don't mind sharing publicly, because usernames in RSmart are public. Don't use an email address. You don't want your email address to be your public username. I'm going to use my dog's, my pretend dog's name, and then I'm going to enter a secure password that I can remember, make sure it matches, and then I'm going to fill out the other required fields that are indicated by a red asterisk. You don't need to worry about the email down here. It's not shared publicly. We, the system just uses that to send you private emails uh, when it needs to get in touch with you. So you don't need to provide a phone number or indicate what your previous learning management system was. If you'd like to provide that information, it gives us an extra way to get in touch with you and lets us know what kind of platforms you have experience with. You also get to choose your contact preferences, whether or not you want RSmart to get in touch with you. The final step is to fill out this CAPTCHA. This helps us figure out if it's a robot filling out this form or you, a real human. If you can't read what's presented to you on the screen, you can use this little refresh button to pick a new CAPTCHA. It sometimes takes me a little while until I get one like I feel I can read. I think I can actually read that one, so I'm going to try it. The last step is to click on the Create Account button. And with a successful registration, you'll be taken to the RSmart User Agreement. It's written in plain language and it's really short. I recommend reading it so you understand your rights and responsibilities. Once you accept that, you're taken directly to your dashboard inside RSmart, already logged in. You can see your name that you entered in the upper right hand corner, and if you ever want to change your password, just choose My Preferences and you can change your password right there. Hover over your name again if you want to sign out, and that takes you back out to the public gateway.